Hi, hello everybody. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a little bit, uh, let's say an extra problem, uh, somehow related with uh, energetic uh, sustainability of or new energetic plans of all the world, I think, because uh, the energy is going to be uh, to be the, the most important issue for the further discussion. So let's move to the problem. What's going on? Yeah. Uh, since we've insulated our house by 16 centimeter poly polystyrene with uh, 100 and 150 density index. Uh, commonly is used only 70 density index for facade insulation, but uh, I bought uh, a little bit better. And uh, uh, there is one problem that since that time, there is achieved only only 20% of energy needed of the building to have the same uh, comfort inside the building. But as the building was old, I I bought uh, this kind of kettle that's Junkers. Here is written. I'll be a little bit translating. Here is like Group Bosch or the Gruppe Bosch, and. Uh, there were three different options in that, let's say, in that uh, uh, kind of kettle. Uh, the first was Z ZSB 14-3, the second is like that one, and the, fourth was, uh, the, the third was like that one. Uh, the third one is uh, with direct uh, water or water preparation. Uh, it means that it has the highest power, highest uh, power potential. Uh, the first one is suitable for uh, passive buildings or my current home. And, but I bought the second one because in time when I was uh, decided uh, which kind of cattle to buy, uh, my, my calculation was showing me that I need at least 20, around 20, some of the calculations even show me 28 or 30 kilowatts per this uh, double-decker house. Uh, but now it's uh, too much. And what's happening now? Let me uh, let me a little bit uh, clarify you that what is this kettle about? Yeah, I need to find some characteristic table. Yeah, here we are. Yeah, here is the technical data, which we can switch off because I moved to the problem. And we have also all three, all three kettles here. And but we are introducing only two. Mm, I hope it's visible, or maybe a little bit like this. We are going to introduce. We are going to discuss only about these two kinds of kettles, and especially this one, which is currently mounted here. Uh, here are three let's say three uh, three different powers but it is not so important what's so important is that here is the maximum power it depends what is the uh, degradation of the temperature between upper temperature and or, or mm, going up temperature and returning temperature uh, how to say like uh, emitted and uh, returned temperature as we should say and we can we can see here that maximum power is around 22 kilowatts yeah uh, is it seen yeah a little bit yeah with with little problems but it's 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 readable but what is uh, here is like propane propane butane or, and here is like ch4 it, it is like a natural gas this one is for us and there is also second value what says what is the minimum power it means that uh, the kettle can modulate down if there is no 
needed so much energy, so much um, so much uh, heat water in the in the uh, radiator systems, and it's going down. But the minimum uh, the minimum uh, heat energy what uh, the kettle can produce sustainable produce is eight. Yeah, basically uh, we, we can discuss about the last value it's 7.3 kilowatt I'm not sure if it's visible maybe here is better focusing the yeah, camera is not very good but it's 7.3 kilowatts it means that maximum is 22 kilowatts and minimum is 7 kilowatts it means that there is modulation ratio 1 2 3 uh, what does it mean practically that uh, between minimum and maximum uh, power there is only three more times like seven plus seven plus seven around approximately let's say like uh, it's 21 I know that it's 22 but but basically it's 21 really we can we can see that here is the, the approximate value true value is around 21 kilowatts but now I'm interesting or I would like to discuss about uh, the minimum value because what I did I set up or reset up the kettle to be heating only with the minimum values but this building now requires around it's like 7 kilowatts it's maximum when 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 outside is maybe mi minus 20 but uh, we are not having so often minus 20 and since uh, I'm here uh, I've never been facing minus 20 outside here in that location in, in Slovakia and uh, it's very rare situation and uh, and not very often even if it occurs we can survive with uh, with less power but this is like seven kilowatts but now when uh, we insulated the house uh, our energy requirement like uh, sustainable or um, let's say average average energy requirement during winter period is around two kilowatts only two or three maybe four kilowatts if we are unable to to produce uh, only this uh, power energy and we are producing higher energy the kettle starting uh, switching on and switching off very often because of uh, kettle is heating up uh, the radiator system to seven by, by energy of the seven kilowatts it's very fast very rapid heating up but there is no consumption because um, the, the system is encapsulated by polystyrene and uh, it stops after a while there is uh, some leakage even through the polystyrene and uh, kettle starts with a seven kilowatt heating up and uh, this is uh, called as a cycling of the kettle it's still starting stopping starting stopping starting stopping and what is problem of cycling is that it's very energetic inefficient uh, let's say running of the kettle if, if you have kettle and if you're running uh, in that way it means that uh, you need to because you have some pipes which are uh, hidden underneath of the pit and uh, that's like uh, these pipes are cooling down uh, because insulation is very poor uh, in, in that part and uh, after a while these pipes or the water the mass of the water inside the pipes must be must be uh, heat up but this is not uh, this is not heating what you efficiently can use for your comfort this is like uh, this is like uh, let's say false heating that you need to heat the water to transfer the heat of the, the warm water to the destination what you need to use this this uh, temperature this heat but you need to heat the water although what you are not gonna to use so this cycling is very inefficient and there are also another aspect that if kettle is uh, starting up everything is cold inside kettle uh, it must be mm, it's always starting from the highest power from 20 kilowatts because it must uh, start uh, we, we call it like a chimney effect it means that uh, it, it must be used uh, 
thermodynamic uh, equation to 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 help the fan uh, pull out the 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 smoke or the, the the exhaust from the burning process and and start all the cyclus. And if cyclus is running, you need only a very small portion of energy to keep it running. But once you need to start it up, you need a lot of energy always. That, that's like with your car, when you are still braking and accelerating and braking and accelerating. That's, that's the same, very similar. But uh, how to, what, what, what to do? We can, we can show, we can show basically the, the second kettle. which is uh, more suitable for my current status it's zsb 14-3 and we can see that this kettle maximum maximum power is 14 kilowatts but minimum power or 14 is 14 kilowatts and minimum power is around 4 kilowatts that's very superb uh, let's say it's it's uh, also ch4 because this is propane this is ch4 so we are concentrating to that to that column and 3.7 kilowatts as a minimum energy is very accurate energy what i need in my house because i would like to let the kettle to work permanently but only on very low energy level because otherwise i i should open the windows and uh, if i wanna to let my current kettle to work permanently i need to um, let's say synthetically cool down uh, the the temperature inside and it it has no sense you know so now <clears throat> what is basically difference technically what is difference between these two kettles there is only in a very small very tiny let's say coding key coding key oh it's so which looks like here I dismount it uh, from my kettle it has a special number and uh, basically we can order a new one but uh, it is so simple it is so simple that it is not necessary to order a new one just to investigate what's the difference because we see that there is no any microchip on it there are only these three elements one two three yeah mm, this camera is really not very yeah and what are these elements by by very simple measuring method because the connector is opened and there is no any circuit no any uh, semiconductor or, or, or more integrated uh, uh, semiconductive element like some some chip on the board there is really there is really only there are really only these three resistors and basically i've already told that those are resistors no diodes because it should be like that uh, we can uh, let's say modify information by resistance and we can use zener diodes and we can modify information by by cutting off some voltage by zener diodes but but this is not very 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 typical used uh, usually when we need to uh, somehow to to code the information more in more sophisticated way we usually can use uh, some programmable arrays and do it really on a bit level so now what we need to do and i would like to show you this is i, I say again this is from kettle uh, zsb 22-3c etc etc serapu smart solution that serapu smart so smart solution and what we what we are gonna to do yeah we are gonna to measure this is like orientation it's going to stick from this side and now i'm 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 putting it like here yeah like this one and we are going to measure these three resistors I hope that it will be visible and we can try to measure the first one the first one has 1.86 kilo ohms because it's kilo ohm scale 
the second one is 12.64 kilo ohms okay there is some some um, let's say uh, deviation allowed uh, it depends but those are I checked the the strips on them and those are very precise maybe plus minus five percent uh, so we can say that this can be 12.5 kilo ohm and uh, moreover these resistors are not uh, from common Q because we have in common Q we have I don't know we have 12 kilo ohms we have 18 kilo ohms and uh, and uh, and so on but it's not so important the last resistor the last resistor okay let me let me check okay this is very small value is 0 0.747374 kilo ohm okay now all the resistors have been documented on this uh, youtube video a little bit uh, little bit longer that I, I used to support maybe I will I will a little bit cut it off and uh, what I need because I have no USB stick or USB coding uh, element from this uh, from this kettle ZSB 14-3 but if anyone anybody of you is having is having uh, such a kettle and is maintaining by himself uh, this USB coded uh, element is very simple find and basically we can we can open and we can show where is the coding element here is electric electric schema somewhere here yeah and the the USB oh, no USB this is not USB this is just coding element uh, is here. Uh, this is uh, main board. There are basically three screws. One screw is somewhere here uh, of, of the of the plastic uh, cover. One screw, second screw, and third screw. There are more, uh, much more screws over there, but those are not related with the cover to discover this element. And and its number, its coding connector. Here is written its coding connector, but it's somewhere here. It's just necessary to pull it out. Also, of course, that kettle must be switched off completely. And and after then, if you measure the values of the smaller kettle, we can uh, combine together these values, and uh, we can basically uh, learn how to modify this kettle uh, from higher power to lower power. Okay. Thank you very much for watching my video. And I hope that it will be quite interesting and quite challenging to you. Thank you and take care. Bye bye.